Hello, um, Bobby, aka Asby Freethinker here, and in this video, I am going to talk about my problems with mutualism. Now, um, some of my viewers will know that that I used to be a mutualist um, for quite a long period of my life. Um, this was um, after I was a liberal and social democrat and right libertarian but before I was an egoist and um, individualist anarchist and, and eventually um, anarcho-communist slash democratic confederalist, which is what I am now. And my problems with mutualism, um, um, you probably heard this argument made, um, by Anne Commons quite often, but mutualists have this tendency of, uh, basically using the tactics and and ideas popularized by capitalists to argue against capitalism. And of course if you um, play by the capitalist rules, um, the capitalists are going to win every fucking time because those are the rules that capitalists are familiar with like if so if you basically argue on a classical liberal individualist basis the capitalists have have experience with promoting that sort of ideology slash economic philosophy, albeit in a somewhat moderate form um, compared to what many mutualists and individualist anarchists would advocate. But nonetheless, the point remains that that if capitalists um, are to be beaten on any serious ideological level, you cannot, and I can't stress this enough, um, use the same sort of classical liberal individualist arguments that they always use because that's what they're comfortable with. That's the realm they're used to operating within. You have to get them out of their comfort zone. The only way you're ever going to seriously get get a get a capitalist to convert is to knock them out of their individualist comfort zone. It's the only 
only way. And of course, they're not going to like you for it at first. But that's, that's tough because truth is not dependent upon how much the other person likes the argument you're making. Truth simply is whether somebody else likes it or not. And, of course, this is probably the point where the Abe, um, a people are gonna flood my comment section with you're such a dogmatist x d d d d d d d which whatever I don't I don't care whilst I don't consider myself um dogmatic uh, if someone who doesn't agree with me perceives me that way I don't really care I mean I used to but not anymore and then and that's kind of a and that's kind of what separates a true free thinker such as myself from the the sort of pseudo free thinking pragmatic uh, like moral browning point seekers that are all over YouTube nowadays. Um like like a true free thinker may be critical of dogmas, but but if someone else um, else accuses them of sounding dogmatic, it doesn't really affect them because. Because the true free thinker knows um, who they are, regardless of what anybody else says. It is the pseudo free thinkers and the moral brownie point seekers who who insist upon pragmatism no matter what, which really like it may seem all nice on the surface but when you come right down to it it's untenable because you can't really create any sort of consistent morality or like social system in that way at all it's just absolute sophistry, basically. Absolute solipsism. Absolute intellectual chaos. Also, um, a lot of mutualists, much like um, Proudhon himself, are quite um, misogynistic and anti-Semitic as well. And um, a number of them, such as Kevin A. Carson, are far too friendly towards ANCAPs for my liking.
So, yeah, this has been Bobby, a.k.a. Asby, Freak Thinker, Liberty, Equality, Fraternity, Goodbye.